This year, over one trillion videos and images will be snapped, edited, and shared. So we haven't just updated the camera. We've completely rethought the entire camera experience for how you communicate today. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy S9. The camera. Reimagined. The Galaxy S9's revolutionary camera introduces dual aperture that adapts just like the human eye to capture stunning pictures in bright daylight to low light and even to super low light. Its multi-image processing takes place right on the sensor which makes the S9 perfect for any lighting conditions. The reimagined camera radically slows down time, capturing the moment within the moment. Its incredible 960 frames per second records four times faster and lets you loop moments Add your favorite music, then share on the spot. All made possible by a new super speed dual pixel sensor, making everyday moments epic. And advanced OIS technology keeps your photos sharp, clear, and stable, even when you're not. We've reimagined the camera so you can reimagine the world around you. Hey, Bixby, translate this. With quick command, its camera even responds to your voice. And intelligent image recognition technology works seamlessly within the same app. So you won't get lost on your screen. The reimagined camera turns you into an AR emoji. Simply snap a selfie and create an emoji that's actually you. Choose stickers for any feeling. To share across all your favorite messaging apps. Where are you? Or record unique movie messages, so you're not the you that everyone else is. And with Disney characters, you'll truly stand out. To match the reimagined camera, an uninterrupted canvas for creators delivers a remarkable new phone experience too. The phone is packed with AKG-tuned dual speakers and with Dolby Atmos, delivers theater-like surround sound that takes you closer to the moment. While the world's most popular headphone jack means you'll never miss a beat when on the move. Now unlock faster than ever by tapping on the ergonomically placed fingerprint sensor or let the hidden intelligence scan unlock with just a glance. Our greatest feat of engineering has always been taking the time to listen to you. That's why our team of engineers, inventors, and problem solvers didn't just set out to make our best phone yet. We set out to reimagine what a phone could be. What we're changing in here will change how you experience everything out there. Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, the camera reimagined. Hey folks, Rich Brom from PhoneScoop here with a quick look at Samsung's new flagship phones for 2018, the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. You need a keen eye to tell it apart from last year's Galaxy S8. Samsung claims the bezel is thinner and the sensor is more hidden, but I couldn't notice the difference in person. The curvy glass metal design is very Samsung. The single most obvious outward change is that the fingerprint reader has been moved to below the camera instead of last year's silly placement beside the lens. It also keeps all the flagship features you expect like the latest and greatest Snapdragon processor, fast wireless charging, and water resistance. The front display still curves a bit at the sides, but the metal frame is now matte instead of polished, a welcome change in my opinion. There's a lock key on the right, and the volume and Bixby keys are on the left. Above the screen is the sensor array, which includes an iris scanner that Samsung claims is 10 times more secure than a fingerprint reader. It works in the dark, but doesn't work when the sun is behind you, in which case the S9 automatically switches to face recognition mode to unlock the phone. 
The bottom sports USB-C, the speakerphone, which pulls double duty as part of the new stereo speakers, and finally the beloved 3.5mm audio jack. The SIM tray can also hold a memory card, up to 400 gigabytes. It will come in three colors in the US. The coral blue and lilac purple shimmer in a lovely way. The camera itself has of course been upgraded. The sensor now has memory built right into the sensor chip. Sony was the first to do this in a phone, and it's most useful for super slow motion video, captured at 960 frames per second. Samsung has a handy feature that automatically looks for the right part of the video to slow down and does it for you, making this feature much easier to use. The on-sensor memory can also be used to take a super fast burst of 12 photos and blend them together, which reduces noise by 30%. The biggest innovation, though, is an adjustable mechanical aperture, a first in a phone. It can flip from f2.4 to an amazing f1.5 for low light situations. The larger Galaxy S9 Plus also has a second lens for telephoto shots, just like the iPhone X. The camera app is slightly rearranged, but easy to use. Modes include auto, manual, selective focus, hyperlapse, slow motion, and a new AR emoji mode. AR emoji is pretty wild. It's like Apple's Animoji, but instead of a cartoon animal, it's a cartoon you. The phone can take a selfie and turn that into an animated 3D cartoon of you. You can customize it however you like, then you have a ton of options for sharing it in messaging apps. You get a set of several fixed expressions to insert as GIFs wherever you want, and you can also animate your AR emoji at any time using the selfie camera to capture your live facial expressions. It's a lot of fun. The rest of the software on the phone looks very much like that on last year's phone. Samsung does keep adding more features to Bixby. Samsung DeX, the accessory that turns a Galaxy S phone into a kind of desktop computer, has also been improved. The new DeX dock lets you use the phone as a touchpad if you don't have a mouse handy, and even use the phone to enter text if all you have is a display but no keyboard. It now supports displays up to 2K. It's also backward compatible with the S8, and you can use an S9 with the older DeX dock. Samsung has also brought the S series up to date with more RAM and support for Category 18 Gigabit LTE. There's no huge revelation in these two phones. Samsung has simply taken a good formula, fixed the one thing we hated about it, the fingerprint reader, fixed it, and updated the specs for 2018. We'll be sharing more hands-on content this week and reviewing these phones ASAP. The Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus hit stores March 16th.